Wholesaling is the fastest path to cash for real estate entrepreneurs. We'll discuss wholesale strategies extensively throughout the weekly live stream meetings, but today I'll answer the following questions. What is wholesaling? How to find a junker houses? How to make an offer on junker houses? And the formula for analyzing junker houses without even seeing the property. I'll even show you how I use wholesaling to make $90,000 in less than a day. Wholesaling is a simple act of finding a good deal, tying it up with a contract, and then selling your contract to another buyer for a fee. Wholesaling, or flipping contracts to other investors, carries little to no risk because you're using none of your own money. And remember, any kind of property can be wholesaled. A few years back, I was operating in a submarket of Dallas. I found a great 260 unit apartment building and I quickly negotiated a killer price. I decided that I would take the contract and wholesale it. So I found an apartment buyer and I assigned him the purchase contract for a $90,000 fee. I was happy to get the payday on so little work and my buyer was happy to pay my fee because I had negotiated such a great price. And there was plenty of room left for him to have a big win too. It was a $90,000 day. The best way to find junker houses is to select a geographic area and develop a target market. First, start by driving through neighborhoods and specifically look for diamond in the rough. You're looking to find the crappy house that's surrounded by nicer ones. That's your junker house. Next, write down all the addresses of all the junker houses that you find in your target area and begin mailing the owners of those houses on a consistent basis. Lastly, search the MLS for keywords like TLC or needs work handyman special, or even the words fixer house. And if you don't have access to the multiple listing service, make friends with a realtor and ask them to help you out. First, you need to know how much the junker house will be worth once it's all fixed up. We call this the ARV, or after repaired value. Start by searching the MLS or redfin.com for former junker houses that have been fixed up already. We call these the comps. Look for pretty pictures or descriptive words like newly remodeled. Not only will these types of houses give you a good idea of the after repaired value, but it also give you design ideas and a scope of work for your subject house. After all, if a rehabber makes your house look like the comp, then he should be able to sell it for a similar price, right? Step one in determining ARV is to begin with the end in mind. You used your comps to decide what the house should look and feel like once it's been remodeled. And then you determine from there what the house will be worth after repairs. Once you've determined the ARV, you wanna pay yourself first. I suggest starting with a very healthy margin of 20% and then adjust that margin as you get to know what your buyers need to make. Let's say you determine that the junker house you found has an ARV of 100 grand. Pay yourself first by subtracting 20% from it, which leaves you with 80,000. Then subtract the junker house repair costs. Now, this is where a ton of would-be deal makers get stuck. So I'm gonna give you the junker house repair formula. Over my 15 years as a general contractor, I've developed the junker house repair formula because I needed to make quick initial offers without even seeing the property. And it all starts with one simple question. What condition is the house in? Good, bad, or ugly? In fact, just ask the seller, hey, Mr. Seller, would you say the house is in good, bad, or ugly condition? Now, if they say good condition, use $10 a square foot as your repair budget. This will get you things like paint and carpet. And if they say the house is in bad condition, use $20 a square foot as your repair budget. This will get you quite a bit more in the rehab. Now, if they say, oh man, this house is ugly, you'll know that you should use $30 a square foot. The Junker House Repair Formula is that simple. The purpose of the formula is to help you make quick, initial offers. However, the formula is not based on retail prices and will require deeper research in the future. Remember, you're selling a Junker House to professional rehabbers, so these numbers should be accurate for an entry-level home. Another deal I wholesaled was a fixer house that I had contracted to purchase for a kick-ass price from the bank. I got a $400,000 purchase price approval in our short sale, and I knew the house would be worth about $580 after repairs. So I quickly assigned that purchase agreement to another investor for a $40,000 fee, 
And that was a $40,000 day. Find a junker house, make an offer, tie it up, and flip it for a quick profit. In the next module, we'll look at several ways to build a buyer's list so you'll know what your buyers are looking for, and so you'll have a buyer on standby when you make a great deal. In the Dealmaker Society, we will also focus extensively on how to find more deals than you can handle. Take the quick quiz below and let's get started. Make deals and get paid.